Jesus, I believe. 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 I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, I believe. Dragi mladi prijatelji, rekli smo da nećemo paliti svijeće. Molimo vas da ugasite svoje svijeće. Pomozite jednim drugima, recite, pomenite da ugase svijeće i mobitel... The light is going to be given to you. And you, when you receive light, you give it to others then. Now the light is only on the cross on Jesus. Once again, let us switch off the candles, whoever has them on.
Gospodine Isuse. Lord Jesus. Klanjamo se tebi raspo. We adore you crucified on the cross. Stojimo u noći. We stand in the night. Vidimo osvjetljen tvoj križ. And we see your cross lit up. To sredstvo sramoće. It is the instrument of the shame that was placed on you. It is something that we people have invented, so we would put you to greater shame, so we would embarrass you even more. This torturing place, tormenting place where we wanted to throw you out of this world. But not in a single moment. You were not put to shame. Not in a single moment. You were imbued by the shame. There was no reason for that. And you took this instrument of shame and you have turned it into the instrument of salvation. That is how your love was so great. You wanted to save each one who wanted to put you to shame. That is how far your love went. If it wasn't for that transformation, something that you did with your death, we would have remained in our darkness. We would not know the way out, the way out from our guilt, from our bondages, from the shame of others and of ourselves. When we look up and when we look into the middle of the night, your cross, we see the difference. We see the difference between our darkness and your light. Your light comes from the hardest moment of your life. Your wounds have turned into the light. Your tormented body has turned into the light from heaven. And your cross did not stop being lit on this earth. From the Black Friday when we wanted to put you and to place you out of this world through the shame of the cross. How great and profound your love is, our Savior. We adore thee. We adore your immense love. That the shame of the cross has not destroyed, but has even shown more to other people. Lord Jesus, my crucified, crucified Savior, while we stand in the night, we know that around us there are people who have been burdened with a guilt who have been enslaved with the shame, with the embarrassment, who do not know how to forgive themselves. This very moment we pray for each one of them. We pray for each one of them individually. We pray for all those who feel 
the weight of the guilt because of anything. And we pray to you that in this very moment they're able to put their heads up, to open the eyes and to see your cross. They may receive complete safety. How you are the one who put the shame and embarrassment off from them, of them, and all of the guilt. If you look up towards crucified Jesus, you will not see how he condemns you. You will not find this look that is looking for the guilt in you, but you will find a light, the light that knows you, the light that loves you immensely, the light that wishes to set you free from what is keeping you enslaved. Do not be afraid to look up. Do not be afraid to look into the cross, cross turned to the place of liberation, deliverance. Do not be afraid to encounter his gaze. grande tu fidelidad incomparable nadie como tú bendito Dios grande es tu fidelidad 
grace of God is boundless. Faithfulness of God beyond any compare. No one is like you. Raspeti moj gospodine. Crucified Lord, we pray to you for all those among us whose mind have fallen into darkness. Those who do not discern lie from the truth those who have been enslaved by the slavery. We pray to you for those who do not find their way, who cannot find their way, who do not see the purpose of their lives. We pray to you that tonight, from your cross, in their mind, your light may descend. We pray to you in a special way for those, all those 
who have been tortured by unbelief, who never got to know your love and your light. Visit them this evening. That in their mind they may have a spark of your vicinity and of your endless love. We pray to you for all those among us who have been enslaved in the darkness of emotions. Who have been tortured by bitterness, who have been hurt. Who have been tortured with lack of trust and lack of hope who have been tortured with the evil that struck them and they are not to be blamed for that who have been tortured with inner incapability of saying goodbye to evil who has tied them down, bowed them down we ask you that tonight the light of your cross may come to them so they would experience how you are setting them free in the midst of their hearts. We pray to you that they may experience the depth of the joy, the depth of the joy of the soul that has been freed, of the heart that has been set free that with all of their hearts they may forgive all of the insults that have tied them down and we pray to you for all those among us who have been tortured with the darkness in the relationships in the in the times when they were hurt who are not able to have good relationships with all of the confusion we pray to you that in the moment when the light from your cross comes among them that they may discover how you gave them ability of forgiving and of loving that they do not have to live the life that is enslaved or full of slavery we pray to you that you may give them strength of trust so they may open their hearts to you so you may come into their relationships and we pray to you for all those among us who have been enslaved in the darkness of any type of addiction whether it is addiction on material things, someone else's opinions, virtual worlds, gambling, whatever it is, whichever darkness that may be, we pray to you that the light from your cross may come to them so this light would deliver them from all of the addictions all of the dependencies that they may discover how they were created for freedom for life for the fullness of life
that they may discover how in every moment they have the right to put look up towards your cross and allow your endless love to imbue them from the cross Lord, there's so much darkness so much darkness around us among us within us but none of the darknesses can survive when you come with your light in the midst of it give us the strength to open to that light that we may allow you to enter into our life
Gracias, oh Señor, mi Señor crucificado por haberte quedado con nosotros en la luz de la cruz. Gracias porque podemos recibir tu luz, porque nos haces, y haces que podamos compartirla con los demás, que podamos participar de tu salvación del mundo. Gracias, oh Salvador crucificado que nos iluminas porque nos iluminas la oscuridad de la mente, porque disipas nuestras dudas porque nos haces capaces de poder pensar claramente Gracias porque nos das tu luz para que los unos a los otros podamos ayudar. Para poder vivir juntos en tu luz. Gracias, mi Salvador crucificado porque disipas la oscuridad de nuestros corazones y de nuestras emociones tú que fuiste herido pero no te quedaste clavado a tu a tus heridas tú que fuiste expuesto a la humillación pero no te quedaste atado a nuestras humillaciones Tú que por nuestra voluntad humana fuiste clavado al madero de la cruz, pero no. Permaneciste aquello que nosotros quisimos hacer de ti. Por eso gracias, porque con la luz de la cruz nos enseñas que nuestras cruces también pueden ser el camino a la salvación a la vida. Camino a la plenitud de la vida. Gracias porque en tu cruz podemos ver siempre que nuestras cruces no sirven para la vergüenza o la condena sino que, y que no tienen la última palabra, sino que tienen con tu fuerza poder de la liberación y de la salvación. Gracias, oh mi Salvador crucificado, por la luz de tu cruz. Salvador crucificado, gracias porque traes tu luz en nuestras relaciones, en nuestras relaciones rotas. Gracias porque con tu último aliento en la cruz quieres unir a todos en uno y librarles de la esclavitud de ellos mismos. Gracias porque con la luz de tu cruz sanas nuestras relaciones rotas y nos llevas de nuevo los unos a los otros. Gracias la fuerza del perdón. Gracias. Salvador crucificado, porque tú eres el único que a la oscuridad de la muerte traes la luz de la resurrección. 
Si no hubiese sido por tu cruz y por tu resurrección, nosotros seguiríamos viviendo atrapados por el miedo de la muerte, atrapados por la oscuridad de las tumbas. Convencidos de la última palabra de la muerte. En ella también trajiste tu luz y así nos liberaste del miedo de la muerte eterna. Y así nos abriste la luz de una vida nueva. Gracias, oh Salvador, crucificado, porque quieres que lleve tu luz a la vida de mis prójimos al mundo donde no lo hay, allá donde todavía no han conocido tu amor desde la cruz. Gracias, porque tú con tu cruz nos atraes a ti. Creas tu iglesia. Gracias porque está abierta a todos, porque no condena a nadie que todavía no gracias porque la has hecho la luz del mundo porque tu luz se ha hecho eterna en tu iglesia. Gracias. Porque cada la fuerza que disipa las tinieblas. Ahora permaneceremos un breve tiempo en silencio para que cada uno pueda con su corazón pronunciar la oración de Cristo presente, que podamos por la liberación de nuestras oscuridades o por aquellos que son importantes, que están en nuestro corazón.
Dominus Vobiscum. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. <coughs> 